Hi everybody, today we are going to read a story called Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Leonardo was a terrible monster. He couldn't scare anyone. He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony did. Look at all of Tony's teeth. He wasn't big like Leonor. And he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary, but he just wasn't. Does that look scary to you? One day, Leonardo had an idea. He would find the most scaredy cat kid in the whole world and scare the tuna salad right out of him. Do you guys like tuna salad? Leonardo researched until he found the perfect candidate. She's a candidate. Candidate is a person until he found the perfect person to scare. Sam. Sam is the perfect person. Leonardo snuck up on the poor, unsuspecting little boy. He's tiptoeing all the way. And the monster gave it all he had. Look at it. He's trying to scare him. He's like, grrr, roar. Ha! Ah, baggle, baggle. Until the little boy cried. Yes, cheered Leonardo. I did it. I finally scared the tuna salad right out of someone. No, you didn't, snapped Sam. Oh, yeah, replied Leonardo. Then why are you crying? My mean big brother stole my action figure right out of my hands while I was playing with it. And then he broke it on purpose. And it was my favorite toy. And I tried to fix it, but I couldn't. And I got so mad that I kicked the table and then I stubbed my toe on the same foot that I hurt last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after I got soap in my eyes and trying to wash it out of my bird poo, the bird poo that, that my cockatoo had pooped on my head and I don't have any friends and my tummy hurts. He's having a very bad day, isn't he? That's why. Then Leonardo made a very big decision. It's okay, he said, and he gave him a hug. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend. And they became friends. But that didn't mean that he couldn't try to scare his friends every now and then. Look at what he's saying. Boo. Is that scary when somebody says boo? Sometimes. And they played together and were friends. The end. I hope you guys like that story. Leonardo started out kind of being a bucket dipper, didn't he? He was trying to scare his friend, but then he decided to be kind. So those are two of our things that we've been talking about this past week, right? Good job, you guys. I hope you like the story. Bye.